देखो हेयर इज अचुएशन बाई श्रीजीत इफ पी ओ इज सॉरी इफ पी ओ इज रेडी टू हेल्प द स्क्रम मास्टर वॉट द प्रोसीजर टू डू नेक्स्ट श्रीजीत कैन यू एक्सप्लेन बेट वॉट यू मीन हेल्प द स्क्रम मास्टर is not ready oh sorry not ready, yeah. Not ready. Yeah. Yeah. what does that mean would you have some context to it srijit oh uh, yeah hi uh, can you hear me yes sir okay yeah uh, so my question is if uh, so there are like scenarios like uh, the product owner is new to the organization and uh, he just joined in the organization and uh, being a scrum master uh, most of the agile methodology he does not know the process so uh, there was an incident that uh, the po is not ready to help this come of for example uh, if the uh, agile team is feeling that a lot of work is being assigned for, um, like a lot of work is being assigned uh, so as a scrum master i'll i'll talk to the po that this can be done but still the product owner is not ready to uh, go with that flow so what is the procedure to do that like okay so it? okay so let me generalize it shrijit if let me know if it is uh, okay interpretation or not so basically yeah. i see the situation as lack of collaboration between scrum master and po yes is that yes. okay yeah whether you want to call yes. it help you there is a there is absolutely no collaboration between scrum master and po and But, how would you overcome the situation what is the procedure to do next so this is interesting by the way let's brainstorm in the breakout so if you were a product owner what would be your mindset if you were the scrum master what would be your mindset okay so let's do one thing uh, i will open the breakout rooms now four minutes discuss within your groups those who have joined a little late we will move you to one of the groups we'll keep the other group same so discuss with each other and from one each of the group choose one volunteer who will quickly summarize from your team okay whatever you have agreed mutually agreed in your group conversation so opening the breakout room for 5 minutes okay to discuss this the challenge is how do you overcome lack of collaboration between product owner and the scrum master anyway from team 1 anyone would like to some, uh, you know share your thoughts about the lack of collaboration between po versus scrum master how would you like to handle that anyone from team 1 team 1 had pavan priyambada raja swapna vegarai subramaniam and yogesh who is volunteering from team 1 okay I swapna yeah yes please i see the hand raised i mean anyway swapna let me invite you or you decide swapna or pavan who would like to go pavan is good <laughs> yes please thank you pavan okay uh, these are the two point of views that we had in our group so basically we discussed a lot of uh, different scenarios and the uh, first scenario that we came about is about retrospectives if uh, the team is facing any kind of uh, um, burnout because there is no there is a lack of uh, coordination between the sm and the po then definitely they can have a discussion in the retrospectives and the same points can be transferred to the po the second point that we had is regarding the one on one conversation between the scrum master and the po to understand why exactly there is a resistance from the po to the scrum master to understand what exactly is the point of view of po has he committed to the clients already uh, is he trying to overcome it or probably he is having a different point of view so understanding that point of view and uh, understanding where is he coming from that may help in so if i would like to ask you reframing this from which scrum values will you draw upon are you saying that as a scrum master show that courage and openness and invite prio to talk about it that is yes. one thing or discuss this in the sprint retrospective when everyone is around are you saying that Yes, these okay. are the two points that we have. These are the, so that's a great point. Just to summarize what Swapna has said, so draw upon the Scrum values as a Scrum master. Be open and have some courage. Talk about it. One, you could do it in one-on-one. -on -one. That depends on your context and relationship. So you can have, hey, Tushar, I want to have a word with you. So that is something you could do, or just be very open. Discuss it in the sprint retrospective, and you know this is what is happening. so the important thing is maybe i'll add here sapna and anyone else from other teams can also add the important mm -hmm. thing here would be 
don't get into a personal conversation it has to be on the product and the project right how is it helping or not helping the team right sapna okay so these are two points here as of now i would like to invite somebody from team two now thank you so much team one pawan i'm sorry i'll have to move on but next time i'll give you higher priority as a facilitator team two anyone would like to summarize team two had amruta anurag bharti gaurav khushbu olavle hi olavle and ruchi would you like to summarize anyone from team 2 yes uh, yes i am amrita varshini so i would like to summarize from uh, team 2 so two points which came out uh, from the discussion we had in our team is first thing is uh, the scrum master can uh, slowly start injecting the lower uh, story points uh, whatever he has in the backlog to the current print and make uh, the po understand that the team is capable of handling Uh, more velocity or they can commit for a little more um uh, task that they are capable of completing and point 2 is the sm and po can have one to one conversation and have a common understanding and uh, he can make realize the po that the team is capable of handling more uh, based on the velocity chart and the sprint reports so this is what we came up with thank you so much team 2 for bringing your points while i open anyone else to add to this i would just like you to reflect on you know some of the points that you mentioned is it really expected out of scrum master yeah think about it adding low priority some stuff you know low size into product backlog and all thing is it really expected of a scrum master accountability what are your views on team 2 suggestion first point anyone has a counter view or support this view yeah raja Uh, actually as a scrum master uh, you should not do that one uh, you know, uh, the product owner should prioritize the backlog and and, 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 and uh, there was a suggestion to change sprint backlog not just product backlog raja if you observe <laughs> change okay. add something to the sprint backlog what about that sprint backlog yes. is for the team's responsibility it's not the scrum master's yes yeah yeah neither develop neither scrum master not product there are reasons yeah. why these rule exist unfortunately in this forum we cannot go to deep but those who have done ps someone and two and all you will realize right these are not aligned to scrum values and these are highly highly dangerous dangerous yeah. from the perspective of what scrum is out here to achieve right i am just saying dangerous from that perspective otherwise you know the answer right the objective of scrum is to create a team which can create more value but anyways great points uh, i guess manjunath were you also trying to say something thank you raja was that i just sense it maybe i'll invite uh, team 3 anyone has anything to support or other team 3 had palak prudvi rajesh shaija shrijit and suruchi from team 3 anyone uh prudvi yes go ahead yeah. please uh this we have discussed we haven't concluded but uh, what we have discussed that uh we have to empathize about po also because uh, uh, we have we have to see why po is putting more pressure is there anything coming on him to take because his main motive is increase the value to the customer that is his po main motive is like that so we have to empathize with the uh, po why he is uh, not listening to us and why he is giving more work so okay, okay. Uh, and solution uh, one way we can do that instead of talking sm directly to po facilitate an a meeting uh, a meeting in which entire scrum team is involved i mean development team is involved where they can discuss with the po yeah. so prudvi i'll just try to add the same example which was shared by team 1 and sprint retrospective is already that event so you would not like to organize another event and waste time so sprint retrospective is exactly the platform where we can facilitate a conversation very openly so just to add on the one point prudvi that's a great point so when you do any one on one conversation as part of your transformation or as part of your scrum master role two qualities absolutely necessary empathy and curiosity as you said prudvi and thank you for reminding me so when you invite somebody let's say i invite sapna i would like to have a word with you then when we are in one on one you are going there with a non judgmental stance neutral stance and try to understand the perspective well i see this but i would like to hear from you so show that inculcate that genuine curiosity and empathy for any one on one conversation for that matter not just one on one also but one on one it is even more required because otherwise the other person might feel that you are already come with an agenda or a bias 
So that's a good exactly. point, Prudhvi. I think I would like to add. So as of now, two points. One, have one-on-one -on -one conversation, approach the PO with empathy and curiosity, and take it from there with a common objective, of course. And second thing is facilitate a conversation about this, encouraging Scrum team to have a conversation. Thank you so much. So let me go back to our Trello board. Let's see what we have. So Srijit. Do you have some ideas now how you could possibly handle this as a scrum master? Oh, yes, sir. Thanks. Okay, just final summary. Have a one-on-one, -on -one, draw the scrum values, openness and courage. Let's talk about it. Approach the conversation with empathy and curiosity and see how it goes. And second, trigger a conversation during the sprint retrospective on this issue. Thank you so much.